Alright guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video, where we're going to be doing another community reaction video, where I asked you guys in a community post, what is one thing that you find cringe in Opera Omnia? For example, maybe it is how some players uh, do co-op, maybe there's something that uh, that some players, while we while you are doing co-op, that you find unnecessary, especially if, like, let's say you're doing chaos and you have force active and they start doing 20 different things things when you probably could have been done with that fight already you know that, that that's one example uh maybe another example would be like a uh, quality of life that maybe they could they could add they could change uh take example for me myself uh one, one quality of life that i wish that they could add and some of you guys were actually uh actually felt the same way about this um but there i i do wish that they would make a quality of life update when it comes to the summon boards especially whenever new characters are uh, drop in the game it does take a good amount of time not really a lot of time but it does take up some time uh whenever you are uh, unlocking the the summon boards for characters then you have to choose their passives and then you have to do this and that and especially for a brand new character i can't tell you like how long it, it takes me to fully max out a character like yeah we do have a good amount of quality of life uh, updates in the game that does speed up a lot of the process in doing that but i feel like they can they could probably squeeze in a little bit more and and give us an option to be able to unlock all of the summon boards and then maybe give us the option to select the passives ourselves without having to go to each summons that we have or each summon boards that we have and then uh you know clicking there clicking that clicking the passive so on and so forth or maybe even a preset a preset where uh we can choose the passives that we want to give a character and if we need to change it then we'll go change them ourselves but a preset with the passives for each of the summons we have in the game so that that way all we got to do is just one click and we can save ourselves about five to ten minutes uh but uh with uh, all of the uh oh just in general like the the whole like summon the summon passives and summon unlocks and everything like that that you have to do for for every brand new character so you know something like that is uh is what uh is like one of my things that i do find cringe uh in the game that i do wish that they could actually update or change or just do something so something like that so like i said some of you guys uh did share some similar uh uh takes on some of the things that 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 you want to see potentially changed uh that is one example the other the other thing is going to be like i mentioned in my in my post uh sometimes whenever i do co-ops uh, i don't know if people like do it because they recognize my name whenever we are doing co-op or if just because like they're so used to doing co-op uh the way that they do it but i do find like i do find that sometimes it is very unnecessary to uh let's say use call abilities unless it is necessary necessary to actually do especially for like lufenia co-ops if let's say everybody needs ice enchant then i can understand uh, having to use a uh, a, a call ability or you not, it doesn't have to be an ice enchant but you get what i mean so whatever type of enchantment uh that is needed uh to be able to meet the lufenia orb so uh, that i can understand but like when you start seeing like different random call abilities that you yourself would probably never use and especially when you know you can kill the boss very quickly whenever uh you have a force uh ability active then it's just like you know why 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 all the why are you doing all of this uh, additional unnecessary things especially when you are using a book a uh, two or a three times book and you want to try to grind all of the co-ops and everything like yeah you want to try to squeeze in as much as you can uh within that duration of said book now yes we do have skip tickets and and more than likely at some point whenever uh, players start getting a good amount of skip tickets uh you're probably going to be using it to be able to avoid all that but if you actually like want to do co-op with other players then it, it would be nice for uh, for i guess like quote unquote like an etiquette on how to do co-op in this game especially if you're able to knock out the uh 
uh, the, the fight very, very quickly. Now, when it comes to Shinryu co-ops, of course, that's going to be something completely different. Then I can understand because, like, you know, it's a Shinryu co-op. Uh, you have to, if you have to do this and that, sort of that way, nobody will die. Uh, or, or, you know, you have to, like, evade or you have to inflict a certain amount of debuffs for whatever reason. Then that I can understand. But, like, everything else, when you, when you know that it's really unnecessary to do so, then I would say, you know, Hold, hold, hold off on on using call abilities especially if you do not need them so th that that's just my 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 two things that i do find to be a, a little bit annoying cringe whatever it is uh that you want to uh take take that uh with uh so uh with that being said though now we're gonna go onto my community post i'm gonna check out some of the comments that you guys left on my uh my community post now we're going to take a look at what you guys commented in my community post. And if by chance you missed this post and you want to express your quote unquote cringe uh, moments or something that you find cringe within the game or something you just want to be changed, uh, feel free to comment in this video and uh, I'll take a look at some of those as well. They won't be a part of any uh, future uh, reaction videos uh, related to this topic, but it's nice to know that um, some players may be able to relate to some of the players that commented on this post or even uh to the uh to the two things that i find cringe uh so if anything it, it, it'll it'll be a good read uh for me and anybody else who is wanting to uh to know how everybody feels uh, uh, about uh what they find cringe in opera omnia so uh we're gonna take a look at some of the comments in this community post but i'm not gonna go through every single one because if not we're gonna be here forever uh so let's go ahead and jump into it so the first two is Kind of similar to each other or I, I guess like in the in, in the basis of uh, co-op so since commented a quality of life i love is bt slash fr animation skips mostly for co-op now i never thought about this 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 is something that never really crossed my mind and it's it's it is it is a good idea, but at the same time, though, I feel like I, I, I do think that it would be a lot of work to try to make it uh, so that uh, so that players uh, or so that uh, you are able to skip the, the animations for these abilities. Uh, and, you know, it may sound simple on paper, but you never know like how like what it takes to actually do uh, all of this stuff. I mean, like I, I, I have no idea on on what they do when it comes to like development of this game. But in general, though, like I feel like uh, it may be a little bit hard because maybe some players do want to see the animations. Maybe some don't. Uh, maybe they could potentially make a separate playlist uh, where all of the animations get skipped. So that, that way co-op can can go up much much faster so like i can um i can i can see uh sin's point that uh it, it would be nice to have these type of skips but i do feel like at the same time uh it may be a little bit hard for the for the for the devs uh to be able to do something like this where they are able to uh let us uh, skip these animations but i do like the idea it's definitely a, a pretty good idea uh for those who just want to you know, grind through co-op as quickly as possible. And the same goes for uh, for Kaki's uh, 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 comment as well, which uh, they they hope that there will be a retry vote button for co-op where you're able to fight again with the same group of people without requeuing. That is actually a pretty good idea. And I'm actually behind uh, behind this idea for sure because like, especially if you're playing with friends and, and like you have a good amount of grinding, you set, you set a good, uh, you set aside a good amount of time to be able to grind through co-op and get everything that you are that you are wanting to get then a a a, a re, like a retry vote button or you know without having to go through like all the different screens and everything just to be able to do co-op again uh it's actually not a bad idea and i'm definitely for for this as well i do think it's a uh, pretty good idea and again it, again it does save a good amount of time especially especially when you are using a uh, a three times book now pancake comments uh, i find it weird and cringe when you have those people who pull on every banner and then complain about them being broke that you know i you know what I, I'll be honest, I, I'm right there with you, because especially when you have content creators like myself who will let you know uh, whether or not you should pull for a character or not, or if you should save your resources, because there are plenty of pull planning videos out there. 
like you would think that people would actually um actually save their resources instead of uh having to pull on every single banner and they complain uh, about being broke like if you want me to be honest with you that sounds like a scale issue <laughs> um because like like look there are so many ways to be able to plan out plan out your pulls and everything and like i get it like you see a new banner you want to pull on it you want to get the shiny new weapon so on and so forth right but like there's no reason for you to pull if you don't have the right amount of gems to pity whatever weapon it is that you need that you are going to chase for. Why pull on a banner and, and tell yourself, oh, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe, maybe I might get it on like the first pull and everything. And then what happens if you don't get it on the first pull? Then it then you're gonna be wanting to pull again. And then guess what? All of those resources that you had that you could have saved up for another banner, uh, whenever you have more resources on top of what you got right now, they are gonna be gone. And then those you know, you're probably going to be the player who's gonna be complaining about why is it that I am broke? I don't like this game. This game sucks, this game is trash. Uh the 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 what do you call it? The uh, the rates are rigged. Blah 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 blah. Sorry, man. That's a skill issue right there. I get that. I get the the whole like impulse of wanting to pull and everything, but at the same time, you gotta hold it in, man. Believe me, I've been there. I've not complained about being broke because I, you know, that I I have had many moments in the past with gotcha games where I have pulled out the credit card. But I, thankfully, I don't have to do that in this game because this game is pretty freaking generous uh, when it comes to resources. So, like, yeah, I, I get it from their standpoint, but at the same time, like, they like you gotta save. You definitely gotta save. You gotta make sure that you get the the um the characters that you are wanting, because uh, you know if if all you're gonna do is is complain after every banner, then <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so good comment. I like that comment. <laughs> Now Mega Arcade brings up a very good point, and this this is coming from a uh, from a uh, I guess like my opinion on this is gonna be coming from a content creator standpoint on like what what we see every day, and that's another comment that's kind of related to this, which we'll get which we will uh, talk about in this video as well. But Mega comments, I see the question over and over on who they should BT plus slash build, and they're completely different characters. I don't think people realize it's a team game, and you'll you'll use pretty much every character for something at some point, which is very true. Every character in this game is unique and different. They may have a few similarities, but they are not they are not completely the same character. And I think a lot of players tend to forget that. Because sometimes I do get comments in my videos, and I'm not gonna lie, they can be very cringing at times. What's funny is that sometimes uh, the 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 questions that I do tend to get in, in a lot of my videos, especially my should you pull videos, I literally answer it within that video, and it makes me question if you just comment, if you just came to comment on the video and not watch the entire video. So yeah, I, I can definitely uh, uh, understand the um, the how frustrating it can be. Uh, at times, whenever you see these type of like comments, wherever it is, whether it be on YouTube, Discord, uh, different social media uh, outlets, so on and so forth. So yeah, I get it. Um, which is why, I mean, which is why there are a good amount of veteran players uh, in uh, many Discord servers. There are good content creators, aside from myself, uh, that do have different opinions on it. And some of us may have the same opinions on uh, certain characters. Like, take example, like Ruby Kante. Like, more than likely, everybody's going to be saying, you must pull for Ruby Kante. So, they, you know, I, I get it. I, I, I And I know, and like, I can understand if you're a brand new player, but if you're playing for, for uh, a couple months now, then... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I will hold off from saying the infamous uh, two words. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, yeah, I get it. I definitely get it. I def I can I can definitely see the frustration with that. <laughs> this next comment by Max Chill pretty much sums up uh, what we have uh, looked over uh, already. Like uh, when it comes to the co-ops, well, the summon boards I've already pretty much mentioned myself, and a lot of you guys commented uh, uh, about that. Which I'm tempted to make a Reddit post about that. Which normally I don't use Reddit. Like I have a Reddit account but I don't really use it um, so uh, yeah the whole summon boards thing uh, I think many of us can agree uh, about uh, hopefully they can make a quality of life change to make it much uh, faster to be able to uh, unlock everything etc etc uh, but when it comes to co-ops <laughs> a kick option 
I would love to have that. The, like, like, and for... I think it would be nice to have that. I know that it's probably going to be uh, some players who host uh, the lobby that will probably uh, use it to troll people. But at the same time, though, there are some moments where you just wonder, what the hell is this player doing? Like, a kick option would be very, 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 very nice to have. Uh, the other thing is pretty much uh, related to uh, to what uh, Mega and uh, uh, Pancake said, uh, which is the no resource management uh, and and then, and then complaining whenever they don't get uh, whatever weapons it is that they are pulling for uh, within uh, a small amount of gems, not even close to like the pity. So <laughs> I do find that to pretty funny, especially when they said, "I mean, what do you expect? Pull with ten and ten k and thirty tickets to get the gold <laughs> kid." Oh my god, it's 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 too funny. I I, I love it. I love it. Now this is a, a comment that I am wanting to get your guys' opinions on selling realized BTS. I do wonder, like, would that affect the game in a negative way, or would that actually benefit players? Because yeah, we do get a good amount of BT pages, but when it comes to like the BT nuggets, BT ingots, you know, that's that's on a whole different level uh, when it comes to the amount that we are getting. Now that is going to change now that our uh, that the that the space in between uh, events is gonna be different and we are gonna be getting more BT pages and, and uh, BT nuggets and so on and so forth. So uh, that will probably, ch uh, that will change. Uh, but selling realized BT pluses, I do wonder, oh not BT pluses, but like BTs, like maybe even like, even if you threw a book in it and you want to sell uh, the that that specific BT that you only use the book to get the five nuggets like I wonder if they would ever consider doing that because that would definitely help out a lot of players or I could I could see it helping a lot of players especially free-to-play players um, but I do wonder if that would mess up I don't know I just feel like something would go wrong just because they give us the ability to do that maybe I'm just overthinking it but I'm curious to see what you guys think about it in the comment section below now uh, Zafer mentioned um, that they would like to get more character points that that they feel like they should get at least 10k per event or even adding a form stage for it instead of giving you 5k points every event except for anniversary events now to me like I can, I do wish that they would increase the the amount of uh, character, uh, bo yeah, character points uh, for free to play players just by a little bit, maybe up to like 8k. And I know that's probably a number that a lot of free, free to play players would not want to hear. But you got to look at it from like a business standpoint. Whenever you have the five dollar mock pass, which is able to grant you 10k per event, and then you got the premium mock pass, which grants you 15k. Um, I think if they were to increase it up to like 8k at the minimum, that would I, I do feel like that would help out a whole lot more. Or what they could do is something that they have been doing in JP uh, every every other month, and adding uh, character board points within the token shop, uh, the daily tokens that we are, the daily uh, cactuar tokens. Like I think that would be a really good idea. I do feel like it'll definitely help out uh, players, so that that way they won't have issues with uh, fully unlocking a character's. Uh, uh, character boards because our uh, character boards are definitely important for a lot of characters especially as we uh, start progressing throughout the months I do feel like it's it's something that uh, should be considered especially if it comes to global early that would be fantastic so uh, hopefully uh, at some point uh, in the future, they would consider it or maybe start uh, letting us, uh, at least for global, uh, letting us uh, have the uh, the ability to be able to use tokens for enhancement points. Now, this comment by Excalibur is similar to, uh, to the comment that we looked over earlier in this video. So, Excal comments, I cringe whenever I hear the questions like, is XXX character good? I pulled for him slash her and now got all the weapons except for the BT. I am low on gems and I'm not sure if I should go for the BT. What does this character do? Guys, do your research before you pull. And I'm, I'm, I'm with Excal uh, on this. You know, as a content creator, like you, you, like we and Excal and many of us who do should you pull videos, um, or any type of video just explaining like a character's kit, uh, evaluating a character's kit, so on and so forth. Like, 
we release this video, these type of videos early before the banner drops to give you an idea as to whether or not you should go for them. But if you're going to uh, do what you know said person uh, in uh, in this comment that X Cow person uh, does and pull for them without even knowing what it is that they do. Um, it's it may hurt you in the long run because what if it's something that you yeah, actually that did up. not need so it's always good um, uh, Before you pull on a banner to do your research, you know check out some videos check out some should you pull videos check out some gameplay uh, Go to different uh, sites. You have many different sites now uh, when it comes to Opera Omnia So that, that way you are able to take a look and uh, see exactly what it is that they do what they offer so you have an idea of like of like uh, whether or not you should pull for said character. So yeah, I'm, I'm right behind X, X Cow uh, when it comes to this. It's it's definitely like necessary because you don't want to waste your resources. Like yeah, this game is generous for what they do offer, uh, but at the same time, you just don't want to go splurging your resources left and right, and then you're gonna be stuck with nothing. And then guess what? You're gonna be upset at the fact that you have no resources to pull for an upcoming character that is a really good character that a lot of players are gonna be pulling for. So, you know, for any newer players, I mean, that's the reason why uh, many of us do these guides, these should you pull uh, guides, um, and there are the many different websites. So, if anything, just don't don't hesitate to ask before the banners drop like ask away look you know do just do your research it's 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 not hard to do um and it, it, and if you're going to be doing uh this type of uh uh or like this way of playing a game by pulling and not, not even knowing like what's going on then um you're only you're only going to be hurting yourself in the long run but other than that i mean i feel like i pretty much uh looked at some of the comments that i felt like sharing uh in this video again if you want to uh check out this community post i'll make sure to have it pinned down in the uh in a pinned comment uh in the comment section below and again if you want to comment below what whatever it is that you find cringe within opera omnia whatever whether it be worth some players or quality of life or whatever it is, uh, you know, if you want to express your frustrations uh, about the game uh, in this video, then uh, feel free to do so. Uh, I'm curious to see uh, what everybody else who did not see this post uh, finds uh, cringe within the game. So, uh, but uh, other than that, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.